Last October, when I made my video about Lineage OS 17.1, I talked about how impressive it was that they not only managed to get a current version of Android working on a six-year-old device, but to make it a very smooth, well-optimized experience that I actually found enjoyable. While it wasn't without a few flaws here and there, it was good enough that my conclusion was point blank that if you had a device past its support life with a Lineage OS build available, installing it was the right move to make. Coincidentally, another thing that happened last October was the Pixel 2 XL getting its final update from Google. Lineage 18.1, based on Android 11, has a current build not just for the OnePlus One that I made a video going over last year, but also for the Pixel 2 XL. While it's not as impressive to get an Android 11 build working on the Pixel 2 XL as it is to get it on the OnePlus One, seeing as how Google themselves put Android 11 on the Pixel 2 XL, for scale, it should be noted that on April 1st, whenever Lineage launched 18.1, they did so on nearly 60 devices simultaneously. While this launch did coincide with the ending of support for many other devices, this was limited to ones that hadn't had a current build in quite some time, so it feels much more like just a cleaning of house than a conscious effort to stop supporting these devices in particular. Before I get into the experience of using either of the devices that I have 18.1 installed on specifically, I should go over the few features new to it compared to last year's 17.1 based on Android 10. Android 11 brought a few new features like more limited permissions options for apps like being able to only allow location access while using an app instead of just at all times, and permissions falling off after an extended period of time without using that app. These are wins both for privacy and peace of mind in a time when it seems like companies are just selling your data in order to pad their bottom line, and frankly, I think it's great to see Lineage bring features like this to so many devices that wouldn't be able to get them under normal circumstances. In addition to those privacy-oriented features though, there's also the addition of the built-in screen recorder. It may not seem like that big of a deal, but if you've ever had to try to explain to a relative in another state how to do virtually anything on their phone or online that they're unfamiliar with, being able to quickly just make a recording of you going through it step by step can feel a lot simpler than trying to explain the same thing through text. Along with these new features though, there were a few device-specific features that I wanted to touch on really quickly. One of my favorite device-specific features of all time was the color-changing notification LED found on the OnePlus One, and I was a bit disappointed to see that it wasn't working in Lineage OS 17.1. I didn't bring it up in that video in the interest of time, given that it's a relatively minor feature, but the developer notes didn't mention their intention to get that feature functioning again, and in 18.1 I'm glad to see that it's working just as smoothly as it was on its original Cyanogen build with support for custom LED colors on a per-app basis. On the Pixel 2 XL, however, the feature I loved on its original build that hasn't been working for me is the Playing Nearby feature, where aptly it tells you songs that are playing nearby. I didn't see any dev notes about whether this feature is currently working or not, but all the settings for the custom LED notification colors were present on the 17.1 build for the OnePlus One even before it was functional, so I wouldn't put it past this being the same case of full intention to make functional but not quite ready yet, or maybe even something as simple as me just being unlucky and it not being able to tell what I'm listening to with any certainty. On a slightly different note, so far I've mentioned features that have been added or taken away, but I haven't mentioned something that I noticed has improved greatly since my video in October. In that video I mentioned that the quality of the camera on the OnePlus One was lackluster by today's standards, and at the suggestion of ST Productions in the comments, I tried a few other camera apps like Baking Camera and Open Camera and at the time I saw an immediately apparent difference in picture quality. That's not the case this year though. On the OnePlus One, I have the Lineage, Open Camera, and Bacon Camera apps all installed, and on the 2XL I have the Lineage and Google Camera apps to compare. Unlike last year though, from app to app the quality of these pictures is indistinguishable from one another, so I'm not sure if that was just a case of issues with early 17.1 builds, or it having been addressed with 18.1. In either case, with 18.1, I'd only really recommend downloading a different camera app if there are specific features you want or if your preferred app is just laid out in a way you're more familiar with. On a side note there, though, the default Lineage apps are designed with the limitations of their specific hardware in mind. If you download Open Camera thinking that it will just magically make it possible to record 4K and 120 frames per second on your OnePlus One, you'll be sorely disappointed when you try to find those files only to see that they don't exist. There is one complaint that I have about Lineage OS as a whole though, and it's that you still can't do a version number update in an over-the-air update. I understand that if you can install it in the first place, you can do the same thing all over again in order to get the new version on the phone. But my main complaint about this isn't the fact that I have to go through the installation process all over again, 
It's the fact that the installation itself usually involves formatting the storage and starting over from an empty phone. While I didn't have any issue with backing up either phone and restoring after the installation, these are two processes I'd rather not have to go through, especially since I had over 40 gigs just in photos and videos on my 2XL. This process of backing up and restoring is only made worse by the fact that Google Photos no longer offers original quality storage. So from this point on, Anytime you have to go through this, any photos or videos you get back are pretty much guaranteed to be lower in quality than what you started off with. I think that if Lineage made it possible to do a version number update over the air like the OEMs are able to, this would make it much easier to recommend and would greatly better the experience of using it overall, especially when it comes time to do an Android version update. I know that this is much harder to implement than what I probably think it is, otherwise they'd already be doing it. Lineage has got more than a few smart people working over there, so it's safe to say that the issue isn't just that it hasn't occurred to them yet. Also, I've got a video going over how to install 18.1 on my Pixel 2 XL, by the way. It's a little different from the 17.1 video, and I've already had people asking for help with it, so I figured I might as well have a step-by-step -step posted for you to refer to if you wanted to try it out for yourself. Now, speaking of things being a bit different with the Pixel 2 XL, there's another difference between my last video on 17.1 and this one. Last year, my recommendation was that if you had a OnePlus One sitting around gathering dust in your junk drawer, it was an easy enough job to just pop the back, undo some screws, swap the battery, and get 17.1 on there. And then you'd have a smooth Android experience on a device that would have otherwise ended up as e-waste. But I did stop short of recommend going out of your way to buy one. On grounds that it's hard to find a word working one with some broken ones on eBay listed for over $100, it's plain to see that for the money that people are willing to let them go for, it's not really worth it to get them, because there are better phones that you could get instead. You could get phones with a better camera, a fingerprint sensor, and more powerful processors for less money. Like the Pixel 2 XL, more specifically. A quick search on Google let me know that there are refurbishers out there willing to let them go for under $100 each probably specifically because their first party support is ended. While the OnePlus One has a very outdated Snapdragon 801, the 835 found in the 2XL is less than half as old and still has similar performance to a newer mid-range device like the Nord N10 with its Snapdragon 690. While I know that isn't as impressive to have to compare it to a mid-range phone, the fact is that it's a phone that you can get for less than a third of the price of that device that performs virtually identically and has an aluminum and glass body instead of plastic. Not to mention that if you saw my Nord N100 review, you'll have noticed that the camera on it is still no slouch, even by today's standards. So, if you were thinking of getting a mid-range or budget device in the near future, there's actually a compelling case to buy a slightly older flagship and install a third-party ROM on it instead. Everything said and done though, one thing seems to be clear. Lineage has put a lot of work in on 18.1 to make sure that it's a smooth and well-optimized experience. They put in the effort to support devices well past when the manufacturers are willing to and even get device-specific hardware to work as well as it did originally. Features like the custom color notification LED on the OnePlus One and the active edge on the Pixel 2 XL are just as seamless to use now as they ever were. In the early days of custom ROMs, I remember that the only ROM I could have installed on my OnePlus 2 didn't even have support for the fingerprint sensor at first. It's easy to overlook the work that it takes to get these device-specific features to work, and I'm just glad that there are people out there making this possible. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank the community over at Lineage, with a special thanks to these people on screen right now, who are the people who maintain builds for all the devices I have running on 18.1. So let me know down in the comments what you think. Is there a phone sitting in your junk drawer that you just can't bring yourself to get rid of? Or is the one you're using right now on its last leg because it isn't getting updates anymore, but you're not quite ready to buy a new one yet? Maybe it's worth your time to check out Lineage OS and see if there's a build for it. If you're not quite sure how to install that, I will have another video linked right up here and also on the end card going over how to install it with a few different devices because there are some differences from the last time I made an install video and what you have to go through for this one though. That's it for now though, and until next time, have a good one.